Spoiler alert for Survivor fans, if you haven't watched the season finale, well, we don't want to ruin it for you. So, tune out. Now tune in. Last night, the final castaways faced off to secure their spots, but only one was crowned sole survivor, and the vote was razor thin. That's wow. four votes Dean, wow. three votes Austin, one vote left. The winner of Survivor 45, Oh my gosh, did you see all those mouths agape? What a nail biter. Unbelievable amount of twists and turns this whole season. But she made it through. Joining us now, winner of Survivor Season 45, D. Vidaris. Uh, congratulations, D. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to get into the weeds with you right away here. Congrats. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you won a Millie. Good for you. Big question. Uh, are you still with Austin? So Austin was a University of Chicago grad student. Uh, you and him met on this show. You had a showmance, we'll say. Austin, your boy, is going to be an alternate. Got called in at the last minute. You guys start seeing stars in each other's eyes midway into the season. Bada boom, bada bing. There's a sparkle there. Then you guys make it to the finals together. Then you decided to basically withhold information from him to beat him. Like, was your heart bleeding at that moment? I think my heart was bleeding before that moment. It was bleeding the moment where I didn't tell him about um, the Emily blind side, where I, he told me about Julie and I didn't tell him about him. That That's when it hurt. And then not telling him about Drew. Um, Final Tribal, it wasn't bleeding because I'm like, this is what's going to differentiate my game from his, right? right? So at that point, I was like, good. But before then, it, it, it's hard because the viewers, they only, the audiences, they only see one confessional. And right. it's just one confessional of me going back and forth, whether I'll tell him. But that's something that happened the entire day out there. It was, should I tell Austin or should I not tell Austin? Yeah. That, that that was the entire yeah, that, day out there. And of course, they upped the drama. We people at CBS love to up the drama, you know, show yeah, the, the most dramatic. So what are you going to do with a milli? Million bucks. Ooh. I am gonna invest it. I'm not gonna like spend a lot of it, to be honest. Good. I'm gonna invest it. I'm gonna like pay off some fam debt and yeah, buy a property for sure. And maybe just go shopping like one day, but nothing too crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's good for you. Get a little rental income going or buy oh, yeah. something for yourself, yeah, whatever you got. Yeah, I, so, I need to be set like far beyond this. <laughs> what surprised you about yourself? Uh, is it like uh, in this process, man, I'm glad I took debate class in high school or man, I'm glad I learned and picked up on this intuitively. You know, this is kind of a Lord of the Flies scenario here. And, and like for those of us watching that don't see the show, and want to become winners like you. Um, what did you learn that made you become that winner? Mm, that's a great question. Um, I think for me, part of that win was my intuition for sure. Um, but I also feel like that comes like natural to me. So for a lot of people, it doesn't. But one thing that I was so grateful for is just like, just having a working out lifestyle having an active lifestyle really helped in this game i won yeah. three individual immunity challenges and i just feel like if you're gonna go to this game like you better make this a lifestyle like you need to love to burn and love to hurt yeah <laughs> um but other than that like I was surprised how resilient I was. Like I didn't eat for two weeks just coconuts straight up coconuts and water for two weeks like my stomach shrunk and I was still able to go to the challenges. I was still able to strategize. Um, so that that's absolutely insane. Yeah, think clearly. And I, and I it's remarkable, too. And I think if you're going to go at life, you got to go physically active if you really <laughs> want to make a go at life, period. Question, oh, yeah. are you still with Austin? Ooh, that's a great question. I've no, been getting it's not a great a question. It's a yes or no. <laughs> yes, it is. We have decided to keep it private for now, only because oh, it's so hectic. Oh, my gosh. I know, Brad. I that know. That means you're still together. You that got to, it has to mean you're still together because you wouldn't keep it private if you were fighting. I can't say. I can't confirm or deny. We just, you know, it's a lot. It's very well, heavy, and it's going to okay, get so crazier. If you are with him and you guys do, do this 
come out the year together since he's Chicago. He's our boy. You guys Ooh. come back on with us, will you? If Not your girl? <laughs> well, you're, you're my, yeah, but 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 if if you are six months, you we, we'd love to talk with you again. Oh, that'd be awesome. Yes. Okay. You're a delight. Good luck with your investment. I love what you're saying. You so Smart much. thinking. I really appreciate it. Can't think of a better a, a winner of the show. And of course, your show is our show. It's our biggest hit and you are going to be a great representative for it. Uh, D. Valladares, Survivor Season 45 winner. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Thank you so much. Happy holidays. Nice talking to you. Great talking to you.